We just got done flying outside capturing data using the M30. Now we're going to walk you through the process of creating a 3D map utilizing drone deploy. Stay tuned. So one of the best things about drone deploy is it can be used with Mac or PC, iOS or Android. The other two popular softwares, Pix4D and DJI Terra, are not compatible with Apple. Okay, once we get the SD card out of the drone, we'll go ahead and input that file into your computer. We need to set it down on the desktop somewhere that you'll be able to identify it later. Then at that point, go ahead and open Drone Deploy. And then once you're logged in, go to New Project. When we click on New Project, it'll open up a geographic area of where you're at right now. So go ahead and hit Create a Project Here. Once we've opened the project, this gives you the opportunity to name the project. So we'll name this project DSLR Pros. Okay, once we have the project named, go ahead and hit continue. And then over to the left, you have all these different selections where you can have a manual map or standard map. Uh, you can create a panorama. We'll go ahead and start it with a standard map, standard modeling map. Once we've opened that, we have to basically set the same parameter that we flew with the drone. So we'll go ahead and open this up a bit. We just grab the little icons here and we can move them to determine the area that we had flown or that we're going to fly. So once we've created that, we're going to go ahead and create a 3D map. We have options to fly a 2D map or a 3D map. So you go ahead and make that selection. Today we're going to do an enhanced 3D map. Once we've clicked on there, we go ahead and click Upload Files, and we do New Upload, or select New Upload. And then we'll choose the files. We go over to our desktop, and we're going to go ahead and click on that file that we had flown. Select all your files, and then hit Upload. And then go ahead and hit over in the right-hand corner, start upload. So once this is done uploading and it's complete and it's processing, then we're going to come back and we'll go over and show you the 3D map. So after about an hour or so, we'll receive an email from Drone Deploy. That'll be our 3D map that we created. So go to your email and open it up and it'll bring you to your map view of the map that you just flew. We'll increase the size of our map. Right now we're looking at the 2D view of the map. And I'll walk you through some of the annotations. If we go over to the left-hand side here, you can see annotations is checked. And over to the right, we have the bar. So we're able to mark a point on this map if we needed to put a location um, behind that car. We'll go ahead and hit that, and it'll give us the longitude and latitude. Some of the other things we can do is we can do measurements. So we can do a measurement distance the length of the front wall of this building. So we'll go from right to left, and then we'll go ahead and click it once more on the end. And it'll give us a length measurement of 258 feet. So those are some of the annotations. There's some other ones. There's also the area we can measure. I'll go ahead and do a quick area measurement, just uh, kind of quickly here to show you what that looks like. So that measurement, here we have an area of 0.6, or actually 0.76 acres of the surface. So there's all different types of things you can do with annotations. Now, lastly, we'll go ahead and shut some of those down, and we can delete those annotations if needed. And we'll go over and we'll switch it over to the 3D map. And what this does is it renders in the background, and remember, Drone Deploy is all cloud-based, so everything you've received is coming back from the cloud, and you can save it to your desktop. So we'll go ahead and look at our 3D map here. And as you can see, we have the complete side view of the vehicles, of the building, the trees, everything in that surrounding area. We can move it around from one side to the other to view the other side of the building, where the roads and cars are parked. And this is very useful for um, law enforcement. If they have a warrant, they need to go and serve at a particular building somewhere. They can go ahead and do a pre-analysis and do a pre-check of the area that they're going to be going into. Um, just lots of different use case scenarios for uh, 3D mapping. 
So basically you can do whatever you want with this map. You can enlarge it, make it smaller, turn it around. And in doing that, we can go to an elevation and we can see different elevations that are basically shown in different colors, representing different elevations. Um, and we can turn this building sideways as you can see how those colors are represented from the ground up also. Red being the higher areas and you can actually see the distance and feet off to the left. So that was a quick overview of some of the features in Drone Deploy. We'll get into some of the other more powerful features at a later date. If you have any questions, give us a call, email us, or go to our website at dslrpros.com. This is Derek Ward, Director of Public Safety for DSLR Pros. Thanks for tuning in and fly safe.